see where Brandy Glanville is making headlines again because a Real Housewives producer, executive producer, actually made in legal docs a statement that she did not believe that Caroline had actually been um, like a victim of what she had originally accused Brandy Glanville of. The executive producer explained it in a way that Caroline said she was triggered from previous trauma and that execs were just trying to make sure that she was comfortable but let me pull the article an executive producer for the real housewives Ultimate girls trip has weighed in on caroline manza's lawsuit against bravo following her claim that she was sexually and by brandy glanville in a new court doc lisa shannon stated that she felt the real housewives of new jersey star 62 felt disrespected by glanville 51 but was not s violated by her manza alleged that while shooting their reality show in morocco that glanville G'd her and K'd her without her consent. Our primary concern at that point was making sure that Manzo felt safe. The legal paperwork obtained by page six read, quote, she told us that she felt safe, that she wanted to continue to film, and she did not want Glanville to be sent home. Additionally, Shannon recalled Manzo telling production that Glanville reported action triggered memories from her child, but did not say she was assaulted. Shannon also said that the women were never left alone. The women were never left alone together after the alleged non-consensual encounter. Shannon claims Manzo repeatedly assured the production crew that she still felt safe filming the program. Shannon specifically recalled a conversation with Manzo who she claims told her she felt supported but was, quote, dealing with something that had been deep in her soul for over 50 years. In January, Manzo sued Bravo after alleging that Glanville SH'd her during filming of the Housewives spinoff. The TV personality claimed Glanville was in encouraged to harass her by production who she plied them with alcohol as they filmed per tmz let us not forget that brandy glanville also filed her own lawsuit against bravo and andy cohen for sh and it's also we have to consider the fact has bravo known this the entire time and they've let brandy glanville you know go over a year with these accusations and also having to lose job opportunities because of it and then you have the other ladies who went and filmed for a week expecting this series to air expecting to get paid from it expecting an opportunity to maybe make some sort of a return or be a friend of and Bravo's just left everyone hanging and so now they come out with statements like this in legal docs it's like why have you guys waited so long I felt like Brandy Glenville waited to sue them because she was suing them because she almost had to like for them to speak up um, on her behalf because she was so adamant that this is not what happened and even the other ladies wanted the footage to air Camille Grammer um, who else oh Gretchen Rossi so what are your guys' thoughts?